<laughs> okay, just uh, listening, just to get some kind of organisation into everything. Uh, we'll go out in about two or three minutes. We all go out for a warm up. Uh, those who are starting, which I will name, are Sander, Ronnie right back. Oh my God, don't go mad. Right back, not number 10, right back. Don't go anywhere near Kenneth. Inverted fullbacks, not in this team. Okay, up and down the right hand side. Remember that only goal you score, if you test. I like it, I like it. Uh, then we have Douglas, Peter. Yeah, whoever's playing against you, keep them in your pocket. Kill Douglas, as you normally do. Okay, uh, left back, Dwight. Yeah, Dwight? Yeah. Just like Suarez. Yeah, keep him in your pocket. Yeah. Okay, uh, then we have Vout. Talk a little more about Vout later. Then we have Teo for if he survives the warm up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Kenneth. You get a free kick around the box, you please just let me take one. All right, then it can come off. <laughs> so, Dale, then uh, Kenneth on our number 10, together with Blas on our number 9. And I always remember Blas uh, when we were on the bus, we were celebrating the championship. He came to me, trainer, trainer. Did you really think that me and Kenneth could play together? <laughs> <laughs> and, I said, and I said, after seeing Kenneth in the first six games, no. <laughs> but after that, nine and ten, always win your championships. And the goalkeeper took centre backs from down the middle. Foul always, but nine and ten you need to win. Okay? I know those in the middle right, can do what right. they want, but it's all okay. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> On the right hand side. We have uh, Brian, and uh, I must thank Eric and Avert for getting him in, because we lost uh, Anatovic with Elia that season. Sorry, <laughs> 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 That's a <the> <laughs> <laughs> We are the bank, but what the dog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I have to thank Eric and Ebert because we were losing an Artovich and Elliot. I thought, oh no, this team, no, no chance, no chance. And he showed me some clips of them playing in uh, Belgium. And uh, the rest is history. Uh, the goal, the, the one I remember the most was the Ajax goal. Whoever put the free kick in. Anything? Yeah, I think it was me. <laughs> you were always in the box. You could do anything outside the box. You were always in it. It was great. And on the left hand side, we have Stocky. You remember we gave him the weekend off? You remember we gave him the weekend off? Yeah, that's when he started. We gave him the weekend off. I said, over the weekend, you know, remember, I know exactly where everyone is in the world. Everybody, what everybody does, I know. So you behave yourself because we have two big games, I think, final and then the last game. And he said, no problem, trying to help you at myself. The Prague, uh, my club, I got the fax. I got the Slovakia. I got a fax from somebody from the White Snake nightclub. <laughs> from the White Snake nightclub. Yes! <laughs> I know I, I, made, I made that one up because I didn't know the club. But Devil's Club. You was in it. And, and this man said, he, he was terrible. One of your players, he was oh, he was terrible. Blah, blah, blah. He abused me, he abused this. He abused that. And he was out of his mind. We drink. We come on the Monday or the Tuesday, the next day. And uh, um, you know, you behave yourself over the weekend. So innocent, look at that face. <laughs> he said, "Cos I'm a trainer, no problem." I said, uh, "Did you go to the White Snake uh, Club?" He went white. <laughs> you know that trainer? I said, "I do know that." Remember, I know exactly where you were on Saturday night. You were in the White Snake Night Club, and you were rat-assed. 
and you were abusing this and abusing that, you went absolutely white. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, I'll read that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the tea to start. Um, but I go back to Val uh, very quickly. It, this is very, very unique uh, for me, as for probably any trainer. When people win things, and then later and later, you always talk about a reunion, you always talk about getting back together. And it's never a I have never been to a reunion with a team and got everybody together from around the world. Never. Only till now. And that's credit to you, uh, what you mean to 20, what you mean to these people. And I think this is why 20 is successful, because it's together, it's a family, it's a team. Uh, and you never forget that. It's always when you win something, it's like now you win something, we win something, and all I have to do is just look. You don't have to say anything, we just look and we know. Yeah? Yeah? We've been in the trenches, we've been in the war, we've won something. Yeah? So to get everybody together from around the world, trainers included, Eric included, people who've grown up with him, played with him, he's Believe you me, it's unbelievable, and that's credit to uh, to Val to do that. I'm I'm humbled to be here. I really am. Always humbled to uh, to have been in charge of this team for a couple of years, and, and after that as well, because it's such a fantastic club. But Val, you've done a wonderful job in your career, which has been remarkable. We always talk about it. You have to be win you have to be a winner. You need winners in the dressing room. People who just want to win, and you are a winner. You are a winner. Okay, it started 2010. Yes. The next year, you won a cup. Then you come back, you go away and come back to 20, and you win the second division, get 20 back in the area division. That is a winner. That's what you want on the team. And you are, you don't know this, but in England, wherever I go, you are the role model for a number six. I always wanted a number six. And I used to say to the scouts and everybody, what type of number six do you want? I got a video of that. There he is. I got a video. Do that. Look, he's brave. He tackles. He runs. He takes the ball. He can deal with the ball. He can move the ball. He can link the team. He's always there. He never gives up. He's a fighter. He's a winner. He's everything. Yeah, I can find you that trainer. Never found it. <laughs> never found it. Why? Because the special strength of Valde was his intelligence, was his brain, was his tactical knowledge. He could read things on the field. And I, I found it remarkable coming here working with Eric for a year, who was a genius off the field. And he was the same on it. You remember one, it may have been Viva, uh, there. Oh, we need to do this, we need to, they're going to do this. Valde, what do you think? And Valde spent 20 minutes in this, every, everywhere I go around the world, I speak to coaches. This story is always my favourite story. I say, Vance went, oh, they press like that, oh, we build up like this, we build up like that. We do this, we do that, we do that. And they're going, yeah, 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 what, what, when uh, they have the ball? Ah, oh, we press like this, we press like that, we press like this. 20 minutes, half an hour, on the board, I'm like that. <sighs> exactly what we were thinking, Vance. <laughs> 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 no problem. And as he's going out, I say to him, tell me, where'd you get that from? I've been doing this with Eric for years, since I was 10, 11 years old. We talk about this. That's why you're unique. That's why you've lasted so long in the game. And, uh, and you read the game and all you do. But you're a leader. And why you're a leader? Because you lead by example. Because you're always led by example. Yeah, you had a mouth, I know. I heard it often a lot, but you are always a leader by example. And he's, for anybody, all we as trainers, coaches want to do is for you to achieve what you've never dreamt possible. Like Kenneth, never won a title, became a winner. The last year he played. We always want players to be the best that they can be. Always. And he did that. That's what made him special. All right?
bring the team out. Okay, and remember, whoever we play, they are so good. <laughs> <laughs> they are the best. They will kill you. He will run off. <laughs> he will run off. <laughs> <laughs> there is no doubt about it. This time we will come true. Villain. I said, wait. Always competitive. Always challenged him. Said, tell him the answer. He said, oh, road or I think. And I looked at him. I looked at him. Jesus Christ. Phew. You, you, I just said to him, you're going to get killed. You are going to get killed on Saturday. He is so much better than you. Run, 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 Have you seen him? Showed him some videos. Turn that, you won't run, mate. I think I've seen you. He will never run you. Never run you. And every week, whoever was the number eight, he's going to kill you. He's going to kill you. And every time he came back, no one, and nobody, Nobody killed you in that season. Nobody. And I pray to you for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> definitely will. So all I say is, this is a really good team to play. Make sure you come back, Val, as winners. Involved. Okay? Just come up. Just one minute, Eric. We have a presentation which... There you go. Now go up to Walmart.